Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that has significant implications for Iraq's economy and its future and the recent developments around the use of the Iraqi dinar in international contracts and what this means for the country's financial stability and credibility. Let's start by unpacking the two key factors that make these developments so important. First, we have the guarantees involved in these contracts. When a country like Iraq enters into a contract with an international company, the guarantees provided are crucial. These guarantees are essentially promises that the Iraqi government makes to ensure that payments will be fulfilled as agreed. This means that international contractors can confidently undertake projects knowing that they will receive their payments on time and in full. This assurance is vital for fostering trust and encouraging foreign investment, which is a cornerstone of economic development. Secondly, we must consider the faith these international contractors and countries have in Iraq's ability to pay for the work being done. This confidence is not just about the current state of Iraq's finances but also about the country's perceived stability and reliability in the long run. If international companies believe that Iraq can uphold its financial commitments, they are more likely to enter into large-scale projects that can significantly boost the nation's infrastructure and economy. Now. Let's delve deeper into a practical example. Imagine you are a contractor wanting to undertake an electrical project in Iraq. You estimate that the project will cost around $1 million. The critical point here is that as a contractor, your primary concern is receiving a payment that is equivalent to that $1 million in value. This is where the exchange rate comes into play. Iraq is using its national currency, the dinar to make these payments. What matters to you as a contractor is that the dinars you receive should be equivalent to $1 million, regardless of the exchange rate fluctuations. Since January 1st, Iraq has emphasized using its sovereign currency, the dinar, for all payments. This move is significant for a couple of reasons. Firstly, it asserts Iraq's economic independence and sovereignty. By paying in dinars, Iraq is reinforcing the value and stability of its currency. Secondly, this practice aligns with international regulations regarding multi-currency practices, particularly those set by the International Monetary Fund IMF. The IMF strongly discourages what is known as multi-currency practices MCP, where countries use foreign currencies for domestic transactions. Such practices can undermine the national currency and economic stability. By adhering to these guidelines and using the dinar for payments, Iraq is not only complying with international standards but also working to strengthen its national currency. This, in turn, boosts the confidence of international contractors and investors in the country's financial system. To sum up, the guarantees provided in these contracts and the faith of international contractors in Iraq's ability to pay are pivotal for the country's economic growth. By using the dinar and adhering to IMF regulations, Iraq is taking significant steps towards reinforcing its financial independence and stability. This is a positive development that could lead to increased foreign investment and substantial economic benefits for Iraq in the years to come. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like share, and subscribe for more insights into global economic developments. See you in the next time.